Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to jump on here, I guess, and be obedient. I don't fully know what I'm going to talk about yet. Um, there's just a lot happening. Um, we moved to Hawaii, so we've been here for a little over a month now. It's been so good, so restful, so peaceful. Um, Dustin and I have definitely been learning how to slow down, which has been really hard. Oh, I just thought of it because when I jumped on here, I was like, what was I going to share? I can't remember. Um, so yeah, Hawaii will force you to slow down. I mean, Amazon packages have been taking so long. We just didn't realize how like long things take here. And, um, I actually ordered a little vacuum, a mop vacuum thing. And it came like almost two weeks late, like later than it said it was going to. And I was going to almost get it for free, but then it came on like the last day, which was terrible. <laughs> But anyways, um, yeah, Amazon takes a while. Everyone is just on island time. It's much slower pace if you've ever been to Hawaii. I knew that coming here and I was actually really looking forward to it. Uh, there's a podcast called um, The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. It's like called Fight, or it's either called Relu Ruthless Elimination of Hurry or Fight, Hustle, and Hurry, one of those. If you just look it up on um, Spotify, you'll be able to see, but it has really just helped me to take a breath, slow down. I'm not in a hurry. And I didn't realize how much of a hurry I am in a lot of the times. And I think it really um, just, it makes me not present. And I sometimes feel like I almost can't even hear God's voice because I'm just so like in a hurry in my head. And it's just silly. It's like, what? why do we have to be in such a hurry to go to Walmart? <laughs> Whatever we have to do. It's like, I get being on time. That's important to me, but most of the time, even with little kids, it's like the times I get snappy or like, you know, raise my voice at them or I get really impatient. It's when I'm in a hurry. And then I think about it, I'm like, but why? Like they're actually kids just like have taught me so much and just to relax and like not be in a hurry. I don't know. It's so weird. But one thing I realized was, um, what caffeine was doing to me. I feel like I don't know. I don't know if anyone else like this. And there's been points in my life where like, I've just drank so much caffeine that it didn't really affect me anymore. I don't know if that's worse, but <laughs> I've detoxed off of it many times. And I always say it will be the last time. And then I have a weak moment and then I go back. But anyways, I just really realized that caffeine was making me like, not even like see my kids. It sounds weird, but like they'd be talking and I would be like, hyper focus on something else like I don't even know what they're telling me like I get a lot of crap done and I will get a lot of tasks done or like things done around the house that are important like I like to keep my place clean I never used to be like that um, growing up but I am now and I don't know sometimes I just get so like in the zone where like they'll be talking they're trying to ask me something and I don't even I'm like so not present then I have a million other conversations going on in my head. And I think caffeine really, for me, makes that like on a hundred. And I mean, it makes sense, right? If you stop and think about it, it's like, we're in this culture where it's like, hurry, 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 race, 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 like get things done, productivity, we're obsessed with it. And then I'm like, at the cost of what? Like I see my kids just trying to get my attention and I'm just like blowing through the day and like, looking back on my day and be like, wow, I didn't even like just sit with them and like make eye contact. Like that's terrible. Um, you know, I mean, of course I play with my kids, but there will be days where I'm like, I didn't even play with them today. Like I didn't like just sit and be with them. I don't know. And I think about how much that hurts me, especially with my love language being quality time. And Dustin knows that and he's gotten so much better, but he is so like creative and could work all day he just has that type of brain and so he's really had to like practice that with me to just like for him to just slow down and like be with me and make eye contact with me it just makes me feel so loved and um yeah I don't know if that encourages anyone I just felt like I wanted to share that if anyone is teetering on the fence of like it's I'm t t okay it's very countercultural for me to be like yeah I don't think I want to drink caffeine I think it's like making me more in a hurry and fuel my anxiety that's already like underlying like this anxiety that I've just like learned to like live with. I think that's 
absolutely like throwing fuel on the fire of my anxiety like caffeine will be the fuel um throwing that on the fire and it's just like I don't know I think I want I just like felt like God was speaking to me to get to this place like you don't need substances and I really realized like I've always had some kind of substance it's really this like a matter of self-control it's a matter of like this addiction right whether if it's not you know, I haven't <laughs> used drugs or like alcohol, it wasn't, you know, I gave that stuff up, but like it used to be drugs and alcohol, and then it can manifest in other forms or social media or myself and my appearance, or it would, you know, then change to like caffeine or whatever. These are my things. And so I think it just comes in different forms. And yeah, I admire my husband so much. He's like, he and his sister are the only people I know that like, there's nothing in their life that they have to have. There's no substance in their life that they have to have. Like, neither one of them drink any caffeine. Um, they don't eat sugar. Like, they just are very self-controlled people. And I so desire to be like that. And, yeah, this is just my little challenge to myself. And I wanted to share it because I don't know if anyone else is feeling that way. But I hate the fact that I have to have any kind of substance in my life, if that makes sense.